Well, good morning, everyone. Or I guess it's good afternoon because it's lunchtime now. Anyways, we're about to make some lunch. We've had a pretty busy morning. I've gone to the store, did some grocery pickup, did some laundry all day today or all morning, did a video where I took apart the humidifier that we have. So now it, that it's lunchtime, we're gonna make some lunch and it's gonna be a pretty interesting lunch. So I'll show you guys what we're having. I found at Walmart these plant-based deli slices and we're gonna have these for lunch today and see how they are. I was going to see if I could trick Tyler and get him to eat them and see what he said, but then he went in the fridge and saw that they are plant-based. So we're still gonna taste test them, but it's just not gonna be a surprise anymore. But I'll show you guys how I'm gonna make this and uh, we'll let you know if they're actually good or not. They're hickory smoked, so should be pretty good. They're tofurkey and they only have 100 calories and five carbs if you guys are curious. Could be interesting. So, <laughs> Tyler said or not if you couldn't hear him. <laughs> I think that they're gonna be pretty good. They're hickory smoked. That sounds pretty good. I don't know, but we're gonna try and make it and um, I'll show you guys all the stuff that I put on it real quick. vegetarian sandwiches not vegan because I use mayo but vegetarians mine's the one with the deli dressing on it and Tyler's does not have deli dressing because he claims that he doesn't like it but yeah we're gonna try these and we'll let you know how it is we just got done eating and I overall I would say that the lunch meat that's not actually meat was pretty good um you couldn't really tell like it didn't taste super different it kind of just tasted like a sandwich. So I think having all those other toppings really helped and helped to uh, help the uh, whatever you call it to just like blend into the sandwich. So I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. Tyler liked it. He didn't mind it. So not too bad overall. I want to show you guys the two little masks that we got. I got them from an Etsy shop. They don't really fit us. They're a little bit too big, but they are really cute. One of the things that I need to do today is clean my Chacos. We went for a walk over the weekend and I stepped in some mud so these are all like dirty now. So I'm going to clean these so that way they're not like trekking mud everywhere. Um, I'm not going to show you guys that because that's boring but that's what I'm going to be doing next because as you guys can probably see they're a little dirty and gross. So we're going to work on it. Now that the chacos are clean, another thing that we have to do is chop up this cabbage, which is literally as big as my head. Literally. Uh, <laughs> it's literally as big as my head. Uh, talking about chopping up the cabbage. Yeah. Um, it needs to be washed, first of all, but this is something that we're going to use in a couple of days because I found this vegan veggie lo mein recipe that we're going to use and you have to have shredded cabbage and there's dirt all over my hands now um but anyways i have this pamper chef little thingy and i've never used this before so we're going to give it a try but first i'm going to wash the lettuce and then i'm going to chop it up and because all we need is about a cup of shredded lettuce and then we're going to start trying to shred it got it all shredded now it actually shredded a lot easier than I thought it was going to so that was good and it shredded into like little pieces so that's awesome and I'm just gonna put a lid on this and stick it in the fridge until we're ready to cook up our um lo mein I think that's what it is I think it's the vegetable lo mein that we're gonna cook up this weekend now that it's dinner time we are gonna be eating some hamburger helper for tonight I know a lot of you people are probably think that this is disgusting, but 
It's one of my guilty pleasures. I love Hamburger Helper and Tara kind of likes it. I don't like this stroganoff kind. Well, why'd you pick this one? I didn't. You did. You grabbed it out of the cabinet. There's two different types of oh, I don't know this kind sounded worse. We've had the other kind before. I choose Hamburger Helper. Okay. With the stroganoff over the other kind. I like, I like all of them pretty much, except for the cheesy taco, which is the one that Tyler likes. Uh, I like crunchy taco. There's a difference. Crunchy taco, which is still just as disgusting as cheesy taco. But yeah, we're going to eat this tonight, and I like it, so I like it'll be okay. Kind of oh, the cheeseburger. If you that We cooked the cheeseburger one in a previous video, and I'll link that down below. That one's really good, and we add like... Um, some pickles and some extra cheese and some um, some uh, red onions and it makes it even better but anyways I'm gonna get started cooking this now that our hamburger is all cooked we're going to add three-fourths a cup of water two and one-fourth a cup of milk and we're, we're using soy milk because we don't really do regular milk anymore and I like soy milk better than almond milk so that's the kind of milk that we're using. We're going to add our noodles. And then we're adding our stroganoff little mix. And we'll stir this and heat to a boiling and cook it for 10 minutes. And here is our finished stroganoff. It looks like it's gonna be delicious. I'm super excited about it. So that is pretty much been my day. I'm about to plate that food and we're going to eat and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Tyler said bye. <laughs>